Hello and welcome. This video segment shows you how to use file send to to copy documents within CATIA v5 to a directory, a diskette, or to the mail by attaching it. So let's get started. You can create a directory to send the files or you can already send them to existing directory, which is a folder. You do not need to open the documents before sending them to a directory. If the document to be copied is linked to others, those documents are also copied to the directory or diskette you choose, provided they can be found. Before doing anything, make sure you have saved all the files you intend to include in the copy. To start up, go to File and select Send to a Directory. If you opened files prior to selecting Send to a Directory, the Send to a Directory dialog box immediately appears. If no file has been previously opened and you select File, Send to Directory, the File Selection dialog box displays. Select the documents you want to copy as shown on the screen. Click Open. The Send to Directory dialog box opens. In the upper part of the dialog box, you can see a list of all the different documents linked to the document you selected for the copy operation. Note that all documents are displayed, whether they are directly or recursively linked to the selected one. The four columns provide information about the file name, the file type, the location, and whether or not the file was found. Click the Copy All Files button between the two lists. The dialog box then looks as shown. The files have now been sorted. The list in the lower part of the box shows a list of those files that will be copied. If in the upper list remain some files, it means they could not be found. This can be remedied by selecting either Tools, Options, General, Document, or Edit Links. The file linkage.cat part was not found, so we have to relocate it. To do so, open the linkage.cat drawing file. The files in the following list could not be found. Close this message. Go to Edit Links. Click on Pointed Documents tab. The status of this file, linkage.cat part, is not found, so we have to relocate it. Click Find and browse to find the linkage.cat part file. Open the file. Now the status is OK. Click OK to close. Links of Document dialog box. Save the drawing file and close it. Now go to File, Send to, Directory. Select the files to be copied. All files now are found. If you prefer, you can select the files in the upper list individually and use the Copy Selected Files button to transfer them to the lower list. If you want to select the files by type, place the cursor inside the list and right-click to display the list of file types and then select the appropriate type. Selecting by type in this way operates, of course, in the lower list as well. If you want to keep the same directory structure in the target directory, select Keep Directory Structure between the two lists. Once selected, this checkbox remains selected when you next select File Send to Directory. Bear in mind that this option is not available or has no effect if the files to be copied 
have no directory structure in common. It might be useful, especially if copying files to a diskette, to know the size of the documents to be copied. OK might be grayed out. This means that problems shown in the problem column have not been resolved. As well as the information provided in the upper list, the lower list also contains a column showing potential problems such as duplicate file names. In case of duplicate file names, you have three ways of resolving this. Number one, select one of the identically named files and click the Reset Selected Files button to move it to the upper list, i.e. not included in the files to be copied. Number two, select the Keep Directory Structure checkbox, thus avoiding having files with the same name in the same directory. And number three, rename one of the files using Rename Target. If you want to give one of the files a different name in the target directory, select the file and click Rename Target in the lower right-hand corner of the dialog box. The following dialog box appears specifying the name of the file selected. Enter the name and click OK. You can of course move all files to the upper list at any time by clicking the Reset All Files button. Enter the path of the target directory in the Copy To box or browse your file tree using Browse if necessary and click OK. This box is in fact a list and contains the nine destination last used. The target directory must be different from the original directory. Then click OK. If you copy to an as yet non-existent directory, the following message appears. If the target directory contains any files with the same name as any copied, the Confirm File Replacement dialog box is displayed. Click the appropriate button. A progress box appears as each file is copied. When the copy has been performed, the Files Copied dialog box appears, telling you the number, size, and type of the files copied. In Send to Directory, you can keep the original directory structure if required. And also, you can browse and select the directory from the location which you wish to save it. Whereas in Send to Mail, you do not get option to select directory, as Mailbox is the only root folder to send the file. So that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.